Hi everybody, my name's Steph and today what we're doing, we're going to bring you part 3 of how to service a Parker uh, 51 Aerometric and you, you, you would have seen in my previous videos um, how the pen came in, how we dismantled it, how dirty it was and what we've actually done now, we've cleaned everything, we've cleaned uh, inside the cap, we've given the cap a lovely polish, the the clip's been lovely, uh, it's been cleaned with a jeweler's rouge, um, the the sack with a sack protector, we've actually soaked uh, inside with water overnight and flushed it loads of occasions uh, and that's nice and clean. Um, the, the feed with the feeder tube has been cleaned um, as you can see the end, um, the end there we've actually polished that as well so it looks lovely and presentable once it's all together. Um, incidentally if you're doing this as well there's actually a little ink channel uh, to the top there, make sure that's clean as well. Okay, actually, just while we're on this, um, the feed and the feeder tube, and occasionally what you'll find is that um, this particular tube is actually clogged up with uh, dried ink. So, what you actually need to do is actually soak all this in water, and then um, what you can get is what we've got here is this particular wire. This is actually a guitar string, don't ask me which. Um, um, which one it is or note or whatever and when you actually soak this what you need to do is get the um, the wire um, I don't know if you can actually see that again I'm doing it over the camera so just bear with me a second there we go so what you can actually do once you've soaked it just prod it on numerous occasions um, with this wire and eventually what you'll find is that you'll you'll dislodge and you'll actually clean this whole tube out so if on, the, on occasions you'll find that you will get tubes that are totally clogged, make sure they're clean as well. Okay. Um, what we've also done is we've actually cleaned the barrel and the hood. We've used, well I've actually used micro mesh. After the micro mesh I've used my own personal special potion. Uh, and then on top of that I've actually given it a lovely polish. And as you can see they're absolutely beautiful condition. There's no micro scratches. Um, it's well, as far as I'm concerned, they're like new now. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, what you also would have seen is that the uh, the collector was just full and clogged up with ink. We've also cleaned that. We've soaked it in uh, in water. We've also ultrasonically cleaned it. Uh, the nib there, we've also cleaned that. We've given it a lovely little polish as well, so that's lovely and clean as well so basically we're all ready to go so um, let's get on with it and what we'll do first of all let's put the um, let's just oops a daisy let's just move things out of the way a little bit and what we'll do first of all is let's place the clip back on put the retaining screw in and then put the jewel on top what you'll find ladies and gentlemen to the top of the clear uh, to the cap there you'll find um, there's one little section um, I'm hoping you can actually see that. It's actually got a little ridge there um, and that basically is where let's just turn it around. Hope, I'm hoping you can actually see that. There we go that's a better. So it's got a little ridge there and the clip, the feathers actually sit just above that particular ridge there. So that gives you a little indication where where it needs to sit. Okay so what I tend to do first of all um, I get a little piece of dowel because uh, inside here we've got a inner cap which tends to move so um, I insert the dowel into the cap like so. Um, again let's just check where that particular little ridge is as we was talking earlier. So there it is there. So we'll just try and hold that in place for the time being and then what we need to do it's a little bit fiddly ladies and gentlemen but once once you've got it there we go, I think we've got it first time there. Well, that's that's very nice. They don't normally go that easy, ladies and gentlemen, but the easier the better. So, there it goes. So, just hand tighten it as far as you can go um, with your finger. And then, what you need to do then is get a little screwdriver and just... And there we go. Let me find it. Just give it a little couple of turns. I like to press it down on the dowel so that... Um, I've got a little bit of control on it, but obviously you can't see that, so just bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that's going there. 
yeah that's absolutely lovely that's uh, that's done the trick so there we have it ladies and gentlemen so what we've done we've uh, we've put the clip on um, we've screwed in the re retaining nut to the top there and um, also what we've done let's just check because sometimes if you don't get that right there'll actually be a gap at the top there so always make sure that the feathers there um, actually sit right over that particular ridge that we actually showed you okay so what we need to do now is just simply screw in um, the jewel and as you can see we've got a lovely green jewel here I've also given this a polish as well because there was just slight slight crazing to the jewel but we've actually uh, we've managed to polish it and it's come up absolutely lovely so what we'll do now is just simply present it to the retaining screw and then just simply screw it in make sure it's not cross oh there we go it's a slight angle we don't want that so there we go that's better so just keep your finger on it and just screw the the cap on like so and then just simply screw it as far as well as far as it'll go with with your finger and that's quite adequate and then what I like to do then just bear with me ladies and gentlemen I've not become prepared I'm gonna have to move all this to one side is use this particular pad that we use to remove it and what I simply do is give it one two quick turns like so as I say that particular pad you would have seen in the first video it's nice and sticky so um, it's great for uh, for putting these jewels back in so there we have it ladies and gentlemen how simple was that okay as you can see the caps in absolutely beautiful condition so what we'll do we'll pop the cap to one side and what we need to do now is um, let's put all the rest of it together first of all what we need to do is get the nib um, insert the feed into the nib like so and again what I'm going to be doing is looking over the camera so I'm hoping you can see this as I'm doing it so I need to real align it up like so that looks okay but I can't quite see there we go that's a bit better and then what we need to do is insert the feed and the nib into the collector here and what we need to do is insert it so that the the holes to the top of the nib um, are actually in line with that Y channel there so what we do we just simply present it inside like so just give it a check to the top okay and if I can just show you there you can hopefully see says he that hopefully it aligns with the with the channel on the top there's two channels one's actually a wider one than the other one so just align the the hole to the top with the wide channel uh, to the top um, just double check here that looks fine and at this point what we need to do is press the nib as far down as it'll go now what I'm doing here ladies and gentlemen if I can find my loop here to just bear with me while I double check it uh, that's just just needs slight adjustment but I can do that hopefully there we go that's fine okay just needed a slight adjustment the the feed was just uh, was just off center but there we have it so what we've done we've installed the 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 nib sorry the feed inside the nib and then held on to both of them and install the feed and the nib into the collector there and again push it down as far as it'll go and there's actually a little ridge inside that it will actually sit against now what we need to do is pop this now into the the sack protector or the feed if you like there but before we do that what we do is actually screw the the hood onto the onto the feed here well not the feed the the aerometric feeder if you like onto the thread here um, I don't know if you've noticed as well there's actually a small rubber rubber washer to the bottom there that obviously uh, gives it an extra seal once it's all placed on onto well once it's all put back together but what we do here is just simply we screw this on first of all and screw it home tight so it's tight to just again bear with me because I like to check with my loop that's why it's a little bit difficult um, working behind the camera now at this point ladies and gentlemen because we've got to try and align the nib inside here the 
the trick of the trade if you like is to get your thumb and get your thumb so it aligns with the top of the the hood there to the point okay so I'm hoping you can see that and keep your thumb there and unscrew unscrew the hood now get the the feed the collector etc and align there we go that looks actually quite good align the nib into the center of your thumb like so so hopefully when we come to screw this on in fact before we screw that back on um, what I will do I get my little bottle of shellac okay and you don't need a lot just a little touch onto the thread this is what I like to do and just being a bit careful there we go all you need is just a touch onto there now this is how confident I am <laughs> now if this comes out rubbish so what we do now we screw the the hood back on and if we've done it correctly we should be able to align it with the nib okay now if you just bear with me a second okay that just needs a fraction of a turn and that is looking excellent so that was a damn good guess so what we've done we've screwed the um, the hood onto the the, the aerometric feeder um, we've adjusted it slightly and I'm hoping you can see that that um, the whole if you like the point of the hood is literally just over the tip of the nib okay let's try and show you different angles so that's a little that's basically how we make sure it's all aligned okay so I'm, I'm hoping you can see that and it's quite clear and if we turn it round um, I'm hoping again you can there we go you can see that the nib inside is all aligned as well okay so I'm, uh, I'm more than happy with that and basically that's it ladies and gentlemen how easy was that now all we do is screw the the hood onto the barrel and then ladies and gentlemen put the cap onto the barrel and there we go ladies and gentlemen that is how easy it is to assemble a Parker 51 okay and again if you looked at my other two videos we showed you how to dismantle it um, you know how dirty it was but there we have ladies and gentlemen what we've actually done now is serviced um, a Parker 51 aerometric fountain pen at this point ladies and gentlemen what I'm going to do I'm just going to let that um, shellac dry uh, I'm just going to give it, I don't know, maybe 15-20 minutes or so. We'll leave it at that and we'll pop back in a moment and let's test the pen. Let's make sure everything's fine. So just for now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll just say ta-ta for now. Okay, we're back everybody. Um, we've, we've left it half an hour, so hopefully the shellac will be nice and dry now. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely beautiful um, black Parker 51 Aerometric with a 12 carat. Uh, roll gold um, cap has a beautiful green grey uh, sorry a green jewel to the cap there and as you can see the pen is in absolutely beautiful beautiful condition um, and as you saw in the previous videos um, we've fully restored this pen and it's in absolutely um, in excellent condition okay let's let's try and show you the nib okay we'll give you a little bit of a close-up there as you can see absolutely stunning pen um, as I say it's been fully restored there's no scratches or anything um, in absolutely excellent condition but uh, let's uh, let's try it out ladies and gentlemen let's make sure everything's uh, working let's take the the barrel and put it to one side let's bring in some ink and obviously well I say obviously presumably you all know how to fill it just simply by pressing the bar here uh, dip the nib into the ink I'll just be quiet just so you can hear that that it's actually working there we go 
So as you can as you can hear, it's got these like sort of plopping sounds. Let's give it a wipe. Okay. Let's put the the barrel back on. Let's move the ink to one side so we don't uh, we don't spill it. Now bear in mind ladies and gentlemen this is the first time it's been inked since we restored it so it just may take uh, it just makes may take just a little while for the ink to sort of run through if you like but I uh, don't oh know there we go right so with a beautiful fine line so what we have is a Parker 51 and it's a uh, aero metric we have to think about that for a moment okay so let's do the figure of eights and as you can see it's writing with a I'd say with quite a fine line okay just some slight skipping on the cross lines there but everything else seems fine okay so um, and as all well not as always but this particular pen will be for sale I'll be parting company with it so keep watching um, it might be on that uh, well-known site that we know um, well yes it will be it'll be on that well-known site so there we have it ladies and gentlemen it writes with a lovely fine line and as you saw with all my previous uh, the two previous videos with this one it's been fully restored um, and the pen in my opinion is in absolutely excellent condition as you can see beautiful gloss to it um, well there's nothing I can say as far as I'm concerned there's, there's absolutely no issues I can find on the pen beautiful beautiful example of this uh, Parker 51 so um, if you want to be the lucky owners of this particular pen then keep watching out for it because it'll be out there for sale on that special well not that special but on that uh, on that um, auction site um, so if you want to be the lucky owner keep watching and go and buy it but for now ladies and gentlemen I hope you've enjoyed the videos how we've actually shown you how we've actually dismantled it how we've serviced it cleaned it and hopefully you've learned something from it um, go to my other videos um, on YouTube leave some comments don't be shy um, and for now ladies and gentlemen I'm just going to say bye for now